Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So, a uh, stadium where the left and right ends are circular arcs with center C. So, what is the length of the stadium? 50 meters from one of the straight sides. So, given this figure and this horizontal length is the unknown. So, to solve for this problem, since this side is 200 meters, so therefore, this side is also equal to 200 meters. Then from the center C to any point of the arc or any point of the circle, thus the radius and the radius is equal to 100 meters because that's half of this 200 meters. So if we put this figure in a plane, so this is the x-axis and this one is the y-axis. So if this side is 50 meters, so therefore this side is also equal to 50 meters because the radius is 100 meters. So first, we need to solve for this side using this point. Then if we name this point, since it's on the x-axis, so we name this one as x sub 1. Then for y, since this one is 50, so therefore this point, the coordinate, that's x and y. But x, that's x sub 1 and y is 50. So to solve now for the length of this side, Using the standard equation of the circle with center at the origin, that's 0, 0. So this is now the formula. We have x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So this is the formula we're going to use to solve for the length of this line. So this is x and this one is y. And the radius, so this one is also equal to 100. So this one is the radius. So substitute now the values. So we have x squared. So they have x sub 1 squared. Then plus y is 50. So that's 50 squared equals r squared. And r is 100. So that's 100 squared. Then to simplify, so we have x sub 1 squared equals, so transpose this 50 squared to the right. So that becomes 100 squared minus 50 squared. Then to solve for x sub 1 using calculator, so that's 100 squared minus 50 squared. So that's 7,500. So we have now 7,500. Then take the square root. So therefore, x sub 1 is equal to. So we have now the square root of 7,500. That's 86.60 meters. So x sub 1 is equal to 86.60 meters. So this is now the length of this side. Then to solve for the other length, so this side, using this point. So if we name this one as x sub 2, so the coordinates, so x is x sub 2 and y is 50, so that's uh, x sub 2 and 50. But since the radius is unknown, so we need to solve first the radius using this point. And since this side is equal to 300, and this one is the radius that's equal to 100, so therefore the coordinate for this point 
is 300 and 100. So to solve now for the radius, so using this formula, so this one is x, this one is y, so we have 300 squared plus y squared, so that's 100 squared equals r squared. Then using calculator, so we have 300 squared plus 100 squared equals, so that's 100,000. So this one is 100,000 equals r squared. So to solve for the radius, take the square. So therefore, the radius, so we have now the square root of this 100,000, that's 316.23. So the radius is 316.23. So we can solve now the length of the side using this radius and this is our x this one is y so we have now x sub 2 then squared plus 50 squared that's y squared equals r squared and the radius that's 316.23 squared so to solve now for the x sub 2 squared so 316.23 squared, so transpose this becomes 50 squared. So x sub 2 squared now is equal to, so we have 316.23 squared, then minus 50 squared. That's 97,501.41. So 97,501.41. Then take the square root to solve for x sub 2. So we have now x sub 2 is equal to. So the square root of 97,501.41. 0.41 so that's equal to 312.25 so 312.25 so this is now the x sub 2 then to solve now for the total length so total length so we have total length is equal to x sub 1 plus the x sub 2. So x sub 1, that's 86.60 plus x sub 2, that's 312.25. So therefore, the total length, so we have 86.60 plus 312.25. So that's 398.85. So the total length is 398.85 meters. So this is now the final answer.